Hey guys, sometimes we get a little bit hectic, so we need some herbal tea to calm right down. Me, myself, as a Gemini, you know what you're going to get, okay? So sometimes I'm like climbing off the walls, bouncing around, and sometimes I'm just like full zen vibes. But I use a lot of herbal teas to balance me out, okay? And I love herbal teas because they're better than Big Pharma, okay? You know they're not toxic and they're very beneficial to your body, okay? One tea that I've been using lately is called... Um, Power Darko, which is beautiful, okay? It's native from um, uh, from North America, and it is uh, found in the um, Amazonian rainforest, and it's like an inner bark. So they take the inner bark from the tree, and this stuff here, this is what it looks like, the inner bark, okay? This is what it looks like, the inner bark, you can see. This stuff smells absolutely amazing. Anti-cancer, okay? antibacterial antifungal this is good if you have any candida okay any candida overgrowth in the body okay this knocks out the biofilm too okay this here um cleanses and purifies your blood this is a good detoxing tea okay look into it okay look into it um i'll drop the names down below so you can um so what i do okay i just have a few favorite teas so i'll show you my favorite teas okay so what i do is i just chuck that like, I've just made some finer there, so you can see it's a bit finer there, okay? You can see my setup right now, like, my little camera thing is just, like, sitting on the couch. It's funny, how it's like, welcome to Susie's kitchen. <laughs> so, I've just put that in the Nutribullet pretty much to just grind it down a bit. And the smell of this is absolutely amazing. But I like to make tea blend, so I'm working with this tea at the moment. And my other favourite tea is um, dandelion root. This is roasted dandelion root, you can see, in okay, the root. And yeah, it's roasted. This is roasted dandelion. This here, your liver. This is so good for your liver. I use this to detox my liver too. Okay, so I'll have like I'll sip this like a couple times a day. I have this sort of tea a couple times a day. So at the moment, I'm blending the Paldarco and the dandelion root together. So I'm just actually in the middle of making a brew now. So what I do, my whole, so what I'm gonna do is just chuck in the water. Okay. Just, so what I do is I'll make up a brew now, and that's my tea for tomorrow. And then what I'll do is I'll just chuck that in my, um, uh, what do you call that? I'll chuck it in my flask and then throughout the day I'll just open that. I've got warm tea, just sip throughout the day. That's medicinal. So I'm just going to go through with like one tablespoon of the Paldarco. I'll probably, may as well just put all that in, okay? And then I'm going to go with like, yeah, the same amount, maybe like a tablespoon and a half of the dandelion root as well. Bang. And I'll just chuck that in. And what I'll do is I'll bring that to the boil. And then I'll simmer it for at least 20 minutes to half an hour. I'll simmer it and then I'll strain it. And then that just goes in my um, in the flask, topped up with hot water. And there's my tea for tomorrow. So it's all, you know, it's prepped up and it's good to go. So that is going to do its thing, okay? One of my other favourite teas is um, chamomile tea. So I'll put some chamomile here. This is chamomile tea, okay? Yeah. This is chamomile, and chamomile is really good for soothing. If you're like a hectic a bib like me, and you're hypo, sometimes you have so much energy, you don't know what to do with. Okay, work with the teas, because this here is going to calm your system. Um, chamomile tea is really, really good. It's um, it's actually, it's it works to like sort of calm you, calms the central nervous system down. So if you have anxiety, your cortisol levels are cranked up, get on this, okay? This is good stuff. Look into it, because I don't know if you know what your background is, if you have any allergies, or if you're taking any, you know... Um, you know medications or anything like that so always do your research okay i remember one point on my journey that i was just sitting in solitude and i was like all right well i'm going to use this time wisely so i started researching a heap load of teas i was just looking at all different teas and looking at all the different benefits of teas I was like wow this is so cool and i wrote it all down i don't even have the book i don't think anymore but i had like pages in this book of all these teas you see so that's chamomile tea chamomile tea is good if you like have nausea as well so sometimes you know you may have like x-class solar flare coming up got energy shifting your chakras or whatever chamomile tea is really good for that and this is one of my favorites as well this is straight out of my garden this is lavender okay we all know lavender is really good for relaxing lavender is good for anxiety okay you can make oil out of this as well and stuff like that okay but lavender what i do is i just go like maybe four of them i just put four of them in the hot water and i'll just steep it in the hot water you know just boil the jug steep it in the hot water and then I'll just sip on that, okay? And that's really relaxing. So if you say you have a headache, you're overstimulated, you have anxiety, you don't need to go and take, you know, all those drugs, all those things that are toxic for your body. You can just go to your garden, okay? Or go to your neighbor's garden and just, you know, grab some things like this, okay? 
I like to blend this with the chamomile tea sometimes. I'll do a blend. And that's just so soothing in the evening. Just chill out on that. I'm not going to go and drink something like that during the day. You know, unless I have super amount of energy and I'm like, oh my God, seriously, I need something to slow right down a moment. <laughs> but I just pretty much cruise along in my own lane. So I do what I need to do. So teas are good. I love herbal teas. I just thought I'll share some of my favorite teas with you. Another tea, I don't, it's actually not even in here. It's in the other kitchen. Okay. So it's outside. But the other tea that I like as well is Blue Lotus. So look into Blue Lotus tea. Blue Lotus tea is, um, is very potent. So you only want to use a little bit of it. Okay. Actually, wait, I'll pause it and I'll go get it. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> so this is blue lotus tea, okay? I'll show you. Okay, so you can see the leaves. You can see the leaves. It's just so cool. It's a lotus, pretty much. See the beautiful leaves, okay? This stuff, I'm telling you now, it's potent. You can see the inner part. I'll just get the inner part out. The inner part of the flower. This is like the inner part of the flower, you see, my friends? You see? So this stuff is really potent. It's really calming. It's really relaxing. If you want to drop into a really deep meditation, you feel you just want to go into like a really deep meditation, what I do, I'm, I'm telling you now, this stuff is so strong. I'll only put like four, only four leaves. I don't go what the packet says or whatever, whoever says what. I go with what works for my body, okay? One night I thought, all right, I'm going to sip this. And I put like maybe, I think the packet recommended like eight I thought, ah, oh, nah, I'm cool. I got this. <laughs> I think I put like maybe, maybe eleven or twelve of the leaves, and it was like a psychedelic effect. So be warned with that, because me myself personally, I don't play around with psychedelics. I don't do mushrooms, any of that. Okay, that's not my thing. Okay, so and I was sipping away, and I was just like, well, I started having the psychedelic effect, and spirits like just slowly sip. I was like, mm, I'm gonna put it aside now because I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that sort of energy. Okay. So, the tea's just come out to the boil now. So, I'm going to simmer that. Just let that simmer. Okay? Simmer that. Let the tea simmer so it all everything comes up. So, yeah, that's Blue Lotus. So, Blue Lotus is very calming. It's very calming. So, anxiety, things like that. Okay? But please look into it because it is classed as a psychedelic. But me, I will only use it in small amounts. Okay? This stuff here, you can roll this stuff up and smoke this stuff. It's like smoking like a chamomile tea. Um, you know, I've done it. Um, some people do it, you know. Um, some people trying to come off weed and then they go onto this to help calm them or whatever. But look, I'm not telling you what to do, what to take. You've got to listen to your own body, my friend, okay? Um, you know, one night I made a blend of, you know, I did the chamomile and I, did, I think when we had an X class solar flare one time, I did a blend of the chamomile tea and then I put some of the lavender and then I put some, like, you know, just like maybe four of the blue lotus and whoa, I was just so zen out. And that's nice, you know, it's. it's it's good for you, you see? Teas are good for you. So, and yeah, I don't know. I just feel there's something sacred about sipping tea. I love just sipping tea. I'm not a coffee drinker, okay? I used to be a coffee drinker back in the day, but coffee is a stimulant. So, you know, I really get, like, I get really stimulated as it is. I have a lot of energy in me, okay? You see, sometimes on my videos, I am, like, erratic. And sometimes I'm, like, calm Zen vibes. So it's like... I think we've all just got to find our own little balance. And these are the teas that work for me. These are the teas. If I just need some calming and chill vibes, cool, I'll just sit there and sip a tea. So, um, and yeah, drop me a comment below. Let me know your favourite teas. And, you know, maybe we can inspire others to get on the tea sipping bandwagon because, you know, teas are better than other things out there in the matrix. You know what I mean? We don't need to fill our bodies with all these poison toxin big pharmaceuticals. So anyway, so yeah, that's my little... T rant, okay, one love. If you're new here and you resonate, you want to hear more about Ascension and all the good things in between, hit the like button, subscribe. Until next time, say bless, sip tea, and always stay in the light. <laughs>